Like for instance, the philosophy of using comfrey to straighten your bones only adds starch and acid to our system and compound that particular problem. The other is that I could drink wheatgrass juice, carrot juice, beets juice, and receive from that nutrition. That is impossible. Why? Because they're all artificial. Wheatgrass juice contain sugar and starch. Two of the greatest enemies of the human body. But our brothers and our sisters in New York definitely recommend wheatgrass juice with pride. What you mean? This is a chlorophyll. I agree with the position of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is one of the most effective and quickest way to heal the human body. But the chlorophyll would have to come from a natural base and wheat is not a natural product of life. So therefore, the end product of wheat would necessarily be an acid one. And that is the subject, acidity versus alkalinity. Acidity has but one purpose. Acidity enters the human body to destroy cells, to cause cell erosion. Alkalinity, on the contrary, alkalinity comes to support life and to maintain electricity. So, a hybrid plant opposed to a natural plant, and we would use two. We would use the Kalawala, which comes from this part of the world. It's a natural plant, it's a spore plant. The molecular structure is complete, deeming it electrical. Not so for comfrey, golden seal and the rest. They are hybrid, meaning that they were made in a laboratory. Being made in a laboratory, naturally, it has to fall short. Because to titrate two things in a laboratory, you need a chemical. In other words, if you have to bring two plants together that ordinary would not have joined each other's true chemical affinity, forced together is what makes things hybrid. You have to use a chemical to bind them. If man could make an artificial plant to equal in production, to equal in value as that which is natural, then man says that he is God. Impossible. <laughs>